How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Halligan and this is my YouTube channel about biathlon. Whoa! Another weekend of biathlon racing. This time we head to Nova Mesto, Namorave in the Czech Republic to see the IBU Summer Biathlon World Championships. Man, look at those clouds in the background. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty rainy. This is so hard to, to really know who is who. Like, that's obviously Davidova skiing past right here because she has the the rainbow rifle but off the start bid number two is pulling away as it's actually looks like it's starting to rain here yeah roller skiing in the rain is is not recommended the wheels can definitely slip out the water on the pavement oh my gosh look at that rain oh man okay so expect some uh expect some interesting shooting here all right there's the wind flag it is fluttering pretty aggressively so if it was like this during zero don't expect anyone to take any clicks but if it just picked up as the storm rolled through, uh, it could be pretty bad. Oh my gosh, look at those wind flags. I, I, don't, I don't mean to cover my mouth, but um, oh, the wind flags on the far end of the range were going nuts. Let's see if Davidova here takes some clicks or if anyone, whoever they're showing. Let's see. Oh, here's Monica Hanzic. She's a good athlete. Let's see if she takes some athletes or t takes some clicks. Magazine in. Ah, dang it. Look at the rain. Oh man, this is nuts. So here we go. Got a lot of people. Uh, a lot of favorites in this race. Davidova starts off with a miss, and uh, she was in Germany for the Weissbaden City Sprint. Um, Hansich is clean so far. Let's see if she can finish it off. Yes, she can. So Hansich is clean. Looks like we're going no spare rounds here, so we got penalty loops for those who miss. Here we go. Kazekovic. That is your current leader after shooting number one. Coming into shooting two now, looks like the wind has already died down. Still have the same top three. Again, prone, prone, standing, standing in this race. No spare rounds, but there is a shortened penalty loop, only 75 meters. So uh, again, we have a lot of World Cup favorites uh, just from like second to seventh place right now. So if we'll see if uh, Kazakovic can can keep the lead here with some good shooting. If she stays in the top three after this, maybe we'll pull up some stats for her to see uh, how she'll fare for the rest of the race. Cleans another target, well, uh, Hanzic is also clean. Fialkova from Slovakia has a miss, so she will be in the penalty loop, but um, I think she will probably still come out in third or close to fourth, as it looks like people behind her are also missing. All right, I was able to find some stats for Irina here. She has 23 top level races, so that means she's done 23 races at either the World Cup or World Championship level race. That's not too much data that we have to go off of, but we can see that she's a solid 77% shooter, really good in the prone, like 90% very solid like that's her rock right there and it just showed because we just saw that she hit all her her prone targets anyway so really good in the prone standing is where she falls apart with a 65 percent shooting we'll see if she can keep it going in this race and the thing that was holding her back last year was her skiing 2.8 percent back of the top 10 and uh but actually luckily she was ahead of the average skier on the world cup so young athlete she's 23 years old has some experience uh on the world cup and so yeah here's another one that if she can do well here maybe we'll be throwing her in the mix next year for that blue bib all right into the first standing shooting here i did go back and find some more results uh from her junior years and uh, Kazakovic also has a medal from Junior World Championships in Otapa, Estonia. So she's used to, or she has experience being on the podium in high level events. There we go, there's a miss in the standing. But, oh, there's two, okay. So I was gonna say, if she could have hit four out of five, that would have been really good for her. But um, hit missing two is definitely uh, more like in line with what her stats tell us. Uh, however, Monica Hanzic also has uh, at least two misses here. Yes, okay. Davidova, it's your race here. If you can clean uh, in front of your home crowd. The penalty loop is not that big, so my guess is if Davidova cleans, oh, which she cannot. I was gonna say if she could clean, she would probably be leaving the, the going back out on course right with these girls, which I was correct, because Davidova, there she goes. She would have been with Gavakovic here, but um, there we go. Kazakovic is still in the lead. Whoa, her uh, her teammate Vasnikova comes out of nowhere, and then we have Julia Zima, Davidova. Uh, there goes Hanzic, bib number one. All right, as we move into the final shooting stage, the rain is picked up again. This is just ugly I've, I've been to races as a coach and as an athlete where it's just downpouring rain like this in the winter on snow and that just has its whole other level of suckage to it but oh man look at this rain 
So it's anyone's race right now as uh, Kazakovich has a miss in her second shooting. Two misses and a third miss, so 50%. So she shot 75% of the day, which is her average. Um, she had clean prone, but then 50% shooting standing. All evens out to 75%. Davidova! No, again, she choked on the last, on the last shooting. Davidova is breaking my heart because I want her to win. I think she is a great athlete, and I wanted to see her win in front of the home fans here. Oh, but we got Julia Zima coming out in front, I believe. That is Julia Zima, followed by Davidova. This is going to be a good race. In the rain, it's going to make for some tricky racing. It's all about tactics, but it's also going to be kind of slippery. All right, so Davidova has overtaken Zima, like, not even 300 meters past the check last checkpoint. Uh, this course is going to be super short. Um, really high tempo. The rain is now off. So in case you were wondering, the, ra the rain is now off again. It's on and off, but it's off at the moment. And down the finishing stretch, the rain is back on for those keeping score at home. Davidova is pulling away. She's fighting through the rain. She's got her head down. And she is going to be your winner of the Women's Super Sprint at the IBU Roller Ski Biathlon Championships in Nova Mesto, followed by Julia Zima. And third from the Russian camp is... Okay, Kazakovich. That's good for her, you know? All right, real quick, before we head over to the men's race, I'm going to leave a link to this video down below if you want to watch the full race. It's on the IBU website. Most of you probably already know how to use that, but I'll leave a link for you just in case. And the second thing, we do have a promotion going on right now. If you want to get yourself a pair of Blizz sunglasses, head on over to enjoywinter.com. Use the promo code Brian Halligan, all caps, one word, for 10% off your order and that's not just blizz sunglasses it's everything they have at their shop they have a lot of start products like poles and wax and a bunch of other nordic equipment so head on over to enjoywinter.com use the promo code brian halligan all caps one word for 10 percent off and you support the channel and subscribe of course men's race we love to see the big burly uh cloud out there obviously one of the cloud brothers those guys are just huge all three of them we have fabian cloud who uh, i raced against at junior worlds kicked my ass we have a million cloud who is just uh, destroying everyone on the junior world circuit and then uh, we have uh, Florian Claude, who's currently leading this race. And all three of these dudes have ginormous shoulders, like basketballs for shoulders. So take a look at the wind flags on the right side of your screen. Absolutely zero wind, no rain. So uh, we should expect a lot of clean shooting here. If they're not shooting clean right here, then that's kind of tough. Uh, Cloud in second, uh, Punichao from Romania. I, I know that name from the World Cup. So as you go down the list, there's a lot of World Cup regulars here. Whoa, someone way down at the end of the range got up super quick. Um, we got clean shooting from Krupkik. Uh, Cloud is clean. Uh, Buta from Romania is clean. Back in, we're starting to see uh, some light uh, reflecting off the rain and all the wet areas. So the sun is now starting to come out. Still no wind. Check it, look, take a look at the wind flags. Still no wind. So we should see some more clean shooting. Uh, the field is all together. Um, there's so many people in this field. I'm not even going to start naming names. Check out uh, Kostyukov's rifle here in lane one. That is pretty nifty. Let's see if I can like point to it right here. Check that out. That is pretty cool. But uh, anyway, while I'm not paying attention, we got Sima from Slovakia is clean. Buda is clean. Uh, Nastiko from the uh, Ukraine is clean, as well as the two Czech favorites. Oh no, Florent had a miss. So hopefully Florent can shoot uh, better in the standing and get himself back into that. I'm, I'm cheering for him. I'm just going to say it. I'm cheering for him. Okay, shooting number three, standing. We got Ukrainian in the lead. Uh, now, most people comment about how I'm pronouncing everyone's names wrong. And the further east we get, the worse I do. Because I know, like, uh, Krupkik. I'm pronouncing it exactly as it's spelt. But I know as a Czech, it's probably pronounced like Krupshek or something like that. So uh, leave a comment down below with the phonetical pronunciation of all these names. But anyway, one person goes clean in this shooting, and this is Buta from Romania. We have seen him on the World Cup for several years, but nothing ever that substantial, nothing so outstanding. I don't even know if he has a World Cup podium, even a flower ceremony. Let's double check Real Biathlon. But he is... He's got a huge lead right here. No one else has come through yet. There's 10 seconds. Where's my guy Florent Claude? 
I missed his target, so hopefully he shot clean. I was, wasn't was paying attention because I was cheering for the Romanian guy. Here we go, Kreshmar, another one that I always pronounce incorrectly. There's my guy, Florent Claude, third place. So this is exciting. We'll see if Buta can uh, shoot clean in the last standing here. All right, George Buta, or is it Jorge? Probably George. This is his uh, World Cup stats. As you can see, even in his best races, uh, looks like he got a oh, 32nd might be his best result so yeah like I said you don't see him uh, towards the front very often but it's a name that I recognize because he's been on the World Cup for so long I mean he's been there since 1415 standing percentage is his strong suit so we should see some good shooting here in the last stage but this is where it really falters the skiing he's two percent back of the average skier and he's skiing seven percent slower oh my gosh skiing seven percent slower than the top ten so he's really got to work on ski speed and like just like that the ski speed has already let him down he's got these two guys already basically caught up to him but uh, then we got Buddha here I mean if he shoots clean and he wins this race I'm into it. You know, this is why I love biathlon. I love seeing these guys who we don't normally see do well. Not that, you know, I I, I don't not like Johannes Tinkus bow, but I love seeing other athletes do well. Yes! And we got clean shooting. Coach loves it. I love it. And Florent Claude with the miss. Okay, so let's see if uh, Kreshmar can make him hurt. He can't because he also has a miss. Come on, Cloud, put the pressure on. Yes, as Kreshmar is doing a spare round, so he must have accidentally ejected a rifle. Take a look at the field. All right, Kreshmar is clean. Let's see if he can catch him. And Kutsikov is clean from Russia, so he is going to be leaving the penalty loop. I'm guessing with Cloud, it's probably going to be a race on the last lap for second place. Let's take a look underneath me. Kutsov, 25 seconds back, and Cloud, 28. So can Cloud take up, or can Cloud pick up three seconds on Kutsov? Let's see. Look at Coach running. Oh man, Kutsov's giving it, man. He's he's going all out. It looks like Cloud is kind of dying. You can tell because his technique is starting to falter a little bit. He's starting to hinge at the waist. Got to keep that chest up. Look at Krishmar here. Krishmar's in really good. Uh, he's really good pace, really strong. He's keeping his chest up, and he's he's got high power and high turnover. But you can tell that Cloud is starting to kind of bend at the waist a little bit so you can tell he's starting to get pretty tired but either way at the finish we got your champion mr. Jorge Buta from Romania of all places who would have called that at the beginning of this race really good race for this dude I'm glad because there's prize money involved it's all this stuff that means a lot to him and you know his career so uh, and then Florent Cloud could not catch up to Kutikov so Kutikov from the RBU is your silver medalist followed closely by Florent Cloud all right, everybody, I'm going to leave it right here next to uh, Kruzkov's rifle because I think it's pretty dope. Uh, check it out. It is an Ishmash Russian brand rifle, so check out my video. I'll leave a link to it up here if you want to see the difference between Anschutz, German brand, Ishmash, uh, Russian brand. But uh, that's all for this video. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button, and you will be kept up to date on all the content coming out of this channel. But until next time, we'll see ya.